Hey guys, it's DJ Wonder Chrissy, and we're here for another sit and squawk. So I hope you are enjoying these. Today it's all about burgers. Yeah, or burger joints. So let's get into it right away. And the first topic or the first burger is uh, the news that came out about, <laughs> oh man, Shake Shack. Shake Shack paid a former employee $20,000 because they were being sued by this individual because he was being misgendered by his co-workers, if you can believe that. This was out in, uh, yeah, guess where? what state this was in and what area? Oakland, California is where it was at, only there. Um, I've only been to Shake Shack once. It's kind of uh, described as overpriced liberal hamburgers. Um, me and the wife went one time and two burgers, fries, and shakes ran us about $32. And that was probably eight years ago. So um, it was a good burger. I love the burger. Great bun, but the price was a little bit out of my range for what you got. Um, so moving on, we've got just burger stories galore here. Uh, McDonald's. Yeah, I like McDonald's in the summer when they have those dollar drinks. We'll see if they're going to do that this year. When we go out cruising in the, in the Land Cruiser, we love to stop and get some McDonald's. And we usually we usually order off the, you know, the the low price menu whatever they call that. But anyway, McDonald's, they haven't learned. They just haven't learned. They are coming out with a plant-based chicken nugget. With all the issues with chicken and uh, eggs and all this other stuff, um, they've they've think they got a winning combination with plant-based chicken nuggets. I believe a couple years ago they totally failed on the burger front with plant-based burgers, so now they're thinking they can do it with chicken because everything tastes like chicken, folks. Right? Everything tastes like chicken. Not. Um, so we'll, we'll see how that goes. I'll be looking next time you go to McDonald's. And, um, you know, I, I think they even came out with breakfast sandwiches now that don't even have eggs. The two two for two or something deal that they have. We've been buying them around here. You basically get a biscuit or a muffin with sausage and that's it. No egg. Um, they're coming up with some crazy ideas to keep the revenue coming in. And they have been knocking down the revenue. I saw their last report. And they did pretty well from a revenue standpoint last quarter. Um, what's a, what's an okay? So Burger King. I think these this uh, Burger King's in trouble, guys. They've already closed two Burger Kings in our general vicinity here. We had a prototype drive through only Burger King in my town. And it lasted for a year, and then they just pulled the plug. Uh, I believe now the, the property's for sale. It's in foreclosure. Um, apparently it was owned by um, Burger King Corporation, and there's another town over. They closed their burger, one of their Burger Kings, too. So um, I think there's some cracks on the way for businesses such as Burger King. And, I mean, Think about it, uh, zombie companies. We haven't been seeing a lot of zombie companies go broke yet, but you're going to see it as uh, interest rates on, on credit go up for the consumer. They're going up for the corporations also, and some of these companies just can't afford to stay in business. I'll give you one, and I know someone who works for this company, and um, they're going through bankruptcy reorganization right now, Revlon. The cosmetics company, they they got they got uh, pushed out. Um, the owner and shareholders wiped out. Wiped out. The two largest creditors are taking over that company. Um, similar thing to happened with Sears about uh, two years ago, three years ago. Um, as the rate of 
of uh, getting money and having money loaned to you as a business goes up. Some of these companies that just can't can't are not being managed properly, or they got issues with debt. Um, just can't keep going on an ongoing basis. Um, so there you go. So all about burgers today. Hope you can go out and have yourself a nice juicy burger somewhere where a real burger, not one of these fake burgers, but a real burger. Um, comment below who has the best burger in your area and how much you pay for it. Um, my best burger around here is called the Tracks, and I pay about fourteen dollars for a. It's it's a good uh, good sized burger with all the fixins and some fries, and the fries are always hot. So go ahead. Uh, this is DJ Wonder Chrissy over and out. All about burgers and stay away from that plant food stuff. Okay, later, guys.